Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, my name is Sutra and I'm here to get you into PA school. I'm gonna be doing my best to explain how to ace the PA school interview and I believe with my little tips, tricks, advice, you should be more than prepared to go into your PA school interview. So I feel like I haven't done a sit down video in a while so I'm really excited to be doing this. Okay, so let's get started. about me I applied to nine schools got eight interviews and seven acceptances and I'm just saying this so that you kind of know like what my like train of thought is as I'm saying all of these like different pieces of advice is just things that I feel like worked for me that I think could work for you guys too and things that I maybe didn't do but I thought I could have done a little bit better so I did write everything down on my phone so that your girl doesn't start talking about random stuff. Before we get started, I do wanna provide you guys with a little word of encouragement. I believe that getting the interview is the hardest part. Once you've made it to the interview, it's, pre it's pretty much smooth sailing. I feel like the schools just wanna know that you're not crazy, you're not a murderous creep, and that they're making the right decision by showing their interest in you. So I hope that helped you relax a little bit. First things first, make sure that you dressed perfectly, like me today. Um, but yeah, seriously, make sure that you are looking appropriate, professional. Um, I would definitely go with business professional instead of business casual and try to stick to neutral colors like black, uh, navy blue, tan, stuff like that. I would try to stay away from like reds and those kind of colors, unless that's really who you are as a person and you are a very outgoing, like eccentric person, then go for it. Which kind of brings me into my next little tidbit is make sure that you're presenting yourself as yourself for my natural curly girlies go with your natural hair you know it's okay you don't have to straighten your hair and like do all this extra stuff just present as yourself so don't do anything that you typically wouldn't really do like don't go out and get like this crazy haircut that you've never tried before in your life like really try to present as your everyday self um but in a professional manner and for heels, I would definitely go with either kitten heels or flats. You don't want to have some high heels because there might be a little bit of walking around for your interview. The next thing is to make sure that you are being yourself in your interview. And I know this is like, oh my gosh, be yourself. but literally just be yourself because I feel like a lot of times when people get in front of like professionals or people that they know like their future is in their hands, they might start to adapt like a personality that they feel like that person wants to here or like wants to be around but that is not true literally your best weapon is the fact that you are completely yourself and they liked you they liked your application enough for you for you to be invited for an interview so make sure you kind of stick with the theme of your application like if you use the sense of humor still have a sense of humor when they meet you in person um you know make sure everything that about you is really tasteful like if you're gonna crack a joke make sure it's a tasteful joke and not something that's like inappropriate I think I cracked a couple jokes during my interview, but they were like totally appropriate. It got the, um, <clears throat> my interviewers laughing. So I was like, yeah. So just make sure to smile, present yourself as a humble human being, which I believe you should be anyway. So literally just be yourself. Make sure you know who you are in um, one minute or less, because the first question is probably gonna be something like, tell me a little bit about yourself. So you want to start with, obviously, my name is so-and-so, I am a graduate of whatever, and then give them like a fun fact about yourself, like kind of like right away to kind of hook them in, because I feel like everyone is going to talk about what they did for clinical hours and blah, 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 and that's all fun and stuff, but they can read it in your application. So try to make it like a little bit more fun, a little bit more like, okay, we're going to remember that she said that, you know? I feel like my favorite food is waffles, like they'll laugh, they'll chuckle and be like, oh, that was cute, you know? Try to be cute. I feel like this also goes without saying, but this is a very crucial, important step. Make sure you research each school that you're going to be interviewing for. Go on their website and find their mission statement. And when you're speaking to the interviewers, make sure you include the mission statement and why you want to attend the school. You can say something like, your mission statement really aligns with my values and my goals as a person. And I feel like I would really be able to grow in this environment because X matches Y and blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? So make sure you really tie in their mission statement to your purpose in life and how you feel like the school is a good fit for you. 
Next is to make sure you practice situational questions. So those are like those ethical based questions, the ones that are like you see your coworker. I believe this, this was literally my question, like you're pulling up to work and your coworker next to you is rolling a J, what do you do? So make sure your answer is always the ethical one, okay? We don't wanna know what you do on the weekends. We just wanna know what you would do at work and it has to be the ethical answer. So just always go with the ethical answer. Um, the answer that is helping others, the answer that is like least selfish, I would say, the one that's for the greater good of the community. And that's how you should be approaching these situations anyways. You should really put yourself in a back burner when it comes to these kind of like situational questions. So my advice that would just be to Google a few if you feel like you're not good at like on the spot kind of answering these kind of questions. They're gonna be questions based on cheating, probably like cheating in class. Um, yeah, people breaking the law and you saw it, like what are you gonna do? So these kind of questions, just make sure you know how to answer them and questions about your character. They just kind of wanna see like where your morals are and your morals should be in the right place. And next is to know your strengths and weaknesses. I feel like with every interview, they always ask what are your strengths and weaknesses. You should know, be honest, don't choose something that's like, oh my gosh, I'm a perfectionist, like, we, okay. You know, make sure you really choose something that you feel like is a weakness of yours, like, Oh, I feel like um, I put too much on my plate, like those kind of things, like those are weaknesses, but you know, you can kind of like flip them around and make them good at the same time. At the end of explaining your weakness, make sure you tie it back into how you want to use that weakness to grow and to learn and to be a well-rounded person. Yes, yeah, so make sure you know your application because they will ask you questions from your application. Most of my interview questions for, um, a lot of my interviews came from my application like, oh, we noticed you put this in your application. Can you elaborate a little bit more about that? Especially if you have something that they haven't really like seen or heard of before. So make sure you know your application and that you can elaborate on maybe some things that you didn't include. Or if you did include it, just, you know, go a little bit deeper. Since that is something they're interested in, you know, just keep, keep tugging at that a little bit. Um, it might be your personal statement. I know I got a lot of questions about my personal statement, got a lot of questions about like what I did for like my research and stuff like that. So again, just know your application and be ready to back that thing up. Okay, so this is more so if you have a group interview and I feel like group interviews are becoming super popular now. So if you're in a group interview, make sure that you are getting your point across that everyone knows that baby, I am here. But at the same time, do not like overshadow everyone else to the point where you're talking over people, you're not letting people finish their sentences. You said like four things when everyone else only said one thing. Make sure that you're kind of keeping it in your head, like timing, like when you're saying things, Make sure you're responding to your peers, use their names. That's another thing. Try to remember everyone's names, like the interviewers and the people around you, like your fellow peers, like call them by their first name or Mr. Or whatever, if it's the interviewer, doctor, whatever their credentials are. But yeah, so speak to people that like you would speak to your friends. Be kind, be genuine. Don't be like a know-it-all that just wants to be the best and be on top because the interviewers they can sense that kind of energy so just really be a team player but show that you're a leader at the same time okay next i feel like this is something that is actually the um, interviewers actually really like is when you find something that you are passionate about in the medical field and you're able to speak on that and it's even better if it's something that you already mentioned in your application for example if you're really passionate about diversity in the medical field, you could find a way to tie that into any question that they ask you. Like, well, diversity is something that I'm really interested in and I want to be able to bring more diversity to the field by doing X, X, and X. In the past, I've done this and I believe that with this opportunity of coming to this school, I'll be able to do so, so, and so. And then you can talk about, like, I, I talked about women's health and like infertility and stuff like that. And then they had mentioned how there was actually a provider in the school who did infertility. So it's like, when you can talk about things that you're interested in in the medical field, it really lets them know that this is something that you've thought about and you're not just trying to make some money, you're actually passionate about what you're learning. Um, yeah, so you can talk about diversity, women's health, research. I also talked about the kind of research that I did and how I would be interested in doing more research, like once I graduate. So just talk about different things in the medical field beyond just, I wanna be a PA. Like, yeah, you wanna be a PA, but like, as a medical professional, what can you do as your job in the PA field? If that made any sense, but yeah. Um, 
my computer is about to die so i'm going to finish okay next is oh yes make sure you have questions for the interviewer at the end of the interview when they're like do you have any questions say yes do not say no i do not have any questions because yes you do and <clears throat> make sure that your questions are not questions that you could like find answers to on the website don't ask anything like when should i expect to hear back or when do applications close or whatever um ask really thought-provoking questions get their minds thinking because you also kind of want to know if the school is a good fit for you some examples you could ask are um what has been most rewarding about the learning environment here how do you think that the students are progressing from point a to point b like when they first started to graduation i feel like that's a good question that really gets them thinking you could also ask like what opportunities are there in this campus for me to grow to learn as a whatever like what you know things like that so before the interview is over you want to make sure that you thank the interviewers thank them for their time thank them for the opportunity um say that i'm hoping to be in touch with them and you can get their emails if it's not provided um or you can look it up yourself so that you can send them a thank you letter or a thank you email after not that i'm sure that they're going to read it but it's still a nice gesture so you finish your interview and what do you do now well, you're gonna go home or you're gonna turn off your computer if it's online and you're going to relax, pray, leave it in the hands of God. I'm sure you did the best that you possibly could do. And remember, all you need is one. You just need one acceptance. I literally cannot wait for you guys to get into PA school if you haven't already so that we can share our success together and just share that we've gotten in and that it's really truly a beautiful thing when you've been working so hard for something and you finally see it coming into fruition like i feel so blessed right now and i cannot wait for you guys to feel the same way that i feel because it truly 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 is rewarding so go out there make me proud make yourself proud and get into pa school until next time mwah.